Well, hello there, real gamers, and welcome to the channel of real gaming. Retro Rob plays everything. That's right, there's no bloody old blames played here. Mm -mm, not even a one. Today's game, by the way, is Karurin Paradise, which was made back in 2002. And uh, it's a weird little arcadey game. I ran into it at the Midwest Gaming Classic. I thought it looked good from the back of the box, which is, you know, how I pick up most of my games. And, uh, yeah, I bought it. It was five bucks. Why not? But anyway, uh, I looked into the history of it. It's actually a sequel to a game called Kuru Kuru Kururin from 2001. Uh, I can't pronounce stuff. But that's because I'm too into the games. Not the pronunciation. Heck no. Oh, goodness. Anyway, uh, this is like a quick fill-in uh, for the planned video for today, which was the, uh, here you go, the Hyperion by Nixie. Um, someone on my team uh, forgot to uh, forgot to plug in the, uh, the switch, so it wasn't charged. So I can't start on that video. Well, I can't continue on that video. Anyway, I have a team of one, so I think you can figure out who it is. Let's go take a look at the front of the box. And here is the front of the... Hold on a second. The front of the box. And, uh, I can't read that at all, so... Oh, wait. I can read this. Game Boy Advance and Nintendo. Joy. Wonder what is on the back of the box. Hmm? Ooh, look at that. And, uh, again, can't read it, but this is what attracted me to the game. Take a look at those graphics. Bright and colorful. Which, if you're playing a Game Boy Advance game, it better be bright and colorful. I'm just saying. That was like it's... That's what it did. Did well. Well, if you had an SP. If you didn't have an SP, then, uh, it, you didn't have a backlight which kind of a bummer anyway this but not this this or this yep read it all right and it's copyright 2002 nintendo and eating so inside the box uh, we'll find a manual there we go very nice uh, look at that Full color. And then the cartridge itself. Right there. Looking good. Um, I gotta say, you know, before we go on, I just wanna say, why didn't this kind of box make it to America? It looks so much better. What the? What was Nintendo thinking? All right, let's play this thing. If you have a Game Boy Advance, for the love of all that's holy, and sorry about the crosshatch pattern, but for the love of all that is holy, please, please just just do the backlight mod. It is so worth it. Um, anyway, I think it's pretty clear that what I'm not going to do is record this off the screen. Thank goodness I have a retro freak. If I move it back and forth fast enough, you won't see the lines. See? Look at that. Isn't that cool? So, uh, I guess we could play it like this. Yeah, we're not doing that. All right, we're going to go through a quick tutorial level just to get a feel for it. Uh, then I'll pick out like three levels that I enjoy just to show you. And we'll just make a new person. By the way, the delete's this one. Ugh. <laughs> if you hit A instead of B, the delete's this one. There we go. I can delete this one. Yep. Here we go. It's gone. Okay. So let's start a new one. And as you can see, look at. Huh? And we'll call this one Retro. Come on. He took out three quarters of the video just typing in his name. 
guy sucks. The blue over here? That's uh, delete. So if I wanted to go back, I could hit that. And then this is start. All right. I have no idea what the rest of these do. <laughs> but I do know this. I got this. And then we get this storyline. Meanwhile... All right. Should I just do the demo here? I'll just do this, the demo level. Give you a feel for what you gotta do. All right, here we go. I gotta not hit the sides. Like, ah. Oh. If I hit the sides, I lose precious seconds. And that's basically it. Although you can use the shoulder buttons to speed up and slow down. I've got a new record. Joy. All right, I'm going to pick some levels here. All right. Now things are going to get interesting. Come on. All right, see these springs down here? I'm going to thwack one of them to turn myself around. Oh. Whew. Oh. No! Getting harder. Alright, couple things. Keys unlock new paths. I'll show you where you end up getting one of those shortly. And then, if you do perfect without hitting anything on a level, you get a star. And if you don't, you get, you, you, you get a circle. Guess what I get a lot of? All right, here we go. It's um, it's a boss battle of sorts. So basically, it's 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 Flappy Bird. Oh. Starts out nice and easy. And then gets ridiculous. But I don't think there's a timer, which is a plus. I really, I really hate timers on this kind of thing. Okay, that was easy enough. Come on. There we go. Now we got these mines. Come on. All right, these little these little pellets here might look like awesome pickups. They're not. Don't fall for it. Come on. <laughs> I love how much harder this gets towards the end. No, just be careful. I'm almost there. Whew. Yay! I know I said I was only going to do uh, three levels, but I want to show you what absolute sadism looks like. My god. Uh, I'm going to wait. Get in the middle. There. Okay, now I got to go get that. <laughs> yes! Got it. So later on, you gotta get keys. It's great. Alright, let's wrap this up.
And that wraps it for Career in Paradise on the Game Boy Advance. Neat little import that I wish would have come in from Japan back in the day because I really would have liked playing it. Uh, that said, I hear that there is now an English translated version out there. So you might want to go looking for that if you're interested in playing this so you can get the storyline, not that it's very important. Gameplay-wise, it's a really nice game. Nothing has ever made me want a analog stick on a Game Boy Advance more than this game because the controls can be a little bit jumpy just because you're using, you know, digital controls instead of analog. And that's how it was meant to be. Um, really love the puzzle aspect of the game. That's really fun. The graphics are absolutely nice, bright, and great. And I love the soundtrack. It just sounds really, really good. So definitely, definitely, if you get a chance to play this game, go grab it. I nothing else I can say about it. I want to thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.